One of the things I get asked the most is what someone should make when they get a new smoker. Should they do ribs? Should they do a brisket? And my answer always has been and always will be is to make pulled pork. It's super easy to make, very economic. It's a great way to learn your new smoker and learn fire management. When it comes to making pulled pork, my favorite cut to start with is a bone and pork shoulder. This guy right here is about six and a half pounds. They're usually between six and eight pounds, between one and three dollars a pound. This one was on sale for 99 cents. When looking for one of these at the store, be sure to go with the bone in one it's going to provide much more flavor and it's a nice uniform piece so it's going to cook much more evenly size wise keep it around that six to eight pound range again it'll cook much quicker and still yield a lot of tasty meat The pork shoulder is going to have a lean side, this one right here, and then it's going to have the fat cap right on top. This one, the fat cap is not as big. Sometimes the whole thing is going to be covered in this kind of thicker fat piece, which is completely fine. Here's your shoulder bone, which you can see kind of goes right here and right here, and then you have a nice uniform piece. One of the main things to remember again is if you get it with the bone in, it's going to cook more evenly because it's a nice uniform piece of meat. To start the prep process I like to go fat cap up just like this. Now take your knife and then just score the fat cap like this. So you want to cut just barely into the meat and we're going to go diagonally like this across the entire fat cap. Flip it over and then go this way to make this checkered pattern. Again cutting right into that fat and a little bit into the meat. What happens during the cooking process is that fat cap is going to contract as it's rendering out. So cutting into it like this is gonna allow them to shrink without curling up our pork. And then this is what you have left over. So again, it's opened up a little bit more as this fat shrinks. It's not gonna curl it up and it's gonna open it up a little bit more to allow our smoke and seasoning to penetrate better into the meat. When it comes to the meat side, I'm gonna leave all this as is, all this kind of softer fat and little pieces. All this is just gonna render out uh, while this thing is cooking. So this is ready to, uh, to get seasoned up. To start, I like to use a little yellow mustard for the binder. So again, we're gonna go with a nice even layer on the outside. This is really just to help the seasoning stick to it. You can use a little hot sauce. You can use Worcestershire. Really anything will work. You won't be able to taste the mustard, so don't worry about that. And again, just go with a nice even layer on both sides. Rub that in. And this will be delicious. When it comes to the seasoning, you can go a number of different ways. You can go sweet, spicy, try different sorts of flavor profiles on this. I'm going to go with a mix of barbecue rubs. So I'm going to go with a little Meat Church Honey Hog, which is a sweeter rub. And then we'll go with Meat Church Holy Gospel, which is a great all-purpose rub. So we'll combine the two. It's going to give it that nice kind of barbecue-y, savory, sweet flavor, which is great on pork. And I'm just going to season pretty heavily on all sides with my seasoning. This is a lot of meat, so just kind of season, pat that in a little bit. Don't be, don't be shy with the seasoning. Again, this thing can take it because this is a lot, a lot of meat. It's going to cook for a long time. A lot of this will burn off, so you can go really heavy with the rub. So I'm going to go with my one rub first and then just pat that in. You don't want to smear it around because it's going to kind of clump up. So I like to just kind of pat that in. Make sure to get the edges. And now we'll go with our sweet rubs. This is going to give it a nice sweetness, a little more sugary flavor. So again, just season, pat that in, and we'll repeat the process on all sides of our pork shoulder. Pork is seasoned up. I'm gonna let this guy hang out on the cutting board for about 30 minutes or so while I'll fire up the big green egg. That's gonna allow the seasoning to start penetrating the meat. It's gonna start sweating a little bit. Gonna be awesome. I'm gonna add a couple wood chunks to my charcoal. It's gonna create some additional smoke for that pork. Usually go two or three of these kind of medium sized ones. And again, as the fire is burning, these are gonna light and create that nice smoky flavor. We'll add the plate setter to create that indirect shield and the grate for our pork. Pork has been sitting for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Look at this, it's nice and wet and sticky. That rub is starting to absorb nicely. So we'll put this right in the center of the grate, just like that, close the lid and let this guy cook. When it comes to the cooking process, I like to do these on my big green egg at about 250 degrees. I find that it's a good mix of that kind of low enough to get that nice smoky flavor, but still hot enough to help this process along. Cooking it at 250 degrees, I'm estimating about an hour and a half per pound. So this guy was about six and a half pounds. So we're looking at about a nine hour total cook time start to finish. For the first few hours, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let the smoke do its magic, create that nice bark on the outside about two hours in. We're gonna start spritzing it with some apple cider vinegar just to provide some additional moisture and at the very end I'm going to wrap it in foil with some butter, some additional liquids to get it nice and tender and to finish it off. Pork has been on for about two hours. I'm going to start spritzing it. For my spritz, I like to using straight up apple cider vinegar. So let's take a look. All right, pork is looking great. Has that nice color on the outside. It is starting to look a little dry. So we'll just hit it with that apple cider vinegar on all sides. Get it nice and wet. Close the lid and continue cooking. 
Pork has been on for about four hours. It's temping right around 160, 170 internal. That outside is looking nice and dark. So now we're gonna wrap it up. Now, this is one of the reasons why I always suggest doing a pulled pork for your first long cook is because it's super easy. You don't really have to do anything. Just kind of maintain the temperature around the 225 to 250 range. If it gets away from you by a couple degrees up or down, it's still gonna be fine. Give it a spritz. You know, pork shoulder is super fatty. So it's very unlikely for it to dry out and it just takes its time to cook. So it's a good way to practice your temperature management management your fire control depending whatever cooker you're using but we're at the point where we can wrap it up so let's continue on and get this thing done Ooh. oh yeah here check this thing out awesome color on the outside you see the cuts that we made the spork shrunk up a little bit so with the cuts everything opened up nicely first I'm gonna spray it down with some apple cider vinegar again and just get some in the foil pan as well get this thing nice and wet on the outside next up I'm gonna go with a couple pats of butter any butter will do here five or six pats this will add some more richness and flavor when it's done next we'll go with some brown sugar just to give it a little bit more of that sweet barbecue flavor about a quarter cup or so right over the top go with some honey as well just a nice even drizzle Ooh, this is my go-to mix for pork right here and finally we'll go with some more of our barbecue rubs so use whatever seasoning you use to season the pork look at that oh yeah and now we'll wrap it all in foil get a nice tight seal this whole thing goes back on the egg i'm going to bump up the temperature to about 275 degrees and cook it until it's tender my target internal temperature is going to be about the 200 to 204 degree range but it's going to be done once the pork is nice and tender it's been about two hours in the foil our pork shoulder is done let me show you guys how i know that it's ready to be pulled off so i pulled the foil back temp wise it's temping at right around 203 204 five but more importantly it is tender meaning my probe goes in without any resistance so let's pull this guy off and uh, we'll rest it up i took the foil off the uh, pork shoulder i'm gonna let this cool down for about 10 15 minutes i don't want this to carry over cook and to overcook the pork shoulder after about 10 15 minutes i'll wrap it back up i'm gonna put this whole thing in my oven that's turned off and i'm gonna let it rest for a good hour so you can put this in your cooler uh, but you know anything that's a little bit more insulated to help keep the temperature without increasing that internal temperature is what you're looking for our pork has rested it's time to shred it up let's uh let's take a look see what we got here look at this thing nice and soft you get all those juices on the bottom here's the bone peeking out from the back Whew, perfect let's put our pork shoulder here move this out of the way look at that that looks beautiful nice and squishy okay so first things first we're gonna pull this bone out Ooh, look at that put that to the side now the most satisfying part is to shred this up look at this no tools needed it just pulls right a party of this beautiful bark on the outside nice little pink smoke ring super tender meat if you find any bigger pieces of fat anything that's uh kind of not edible or not as easy to bite you can just kind of pull those off but uh most of it is going to be rendered out and super super tender before i make my sandwich i have to try this pork get the nice little barky piece mm. delicious it's the perfect balance of that sweet smoky savory you can taste the seasoning that honey the smoky flavor Whew. it's delicious now that my pork is shredded i'm gonna put this back in the foil pan and mix it with all these delicious juices that's the rendered out fat that melted butter all those delicious flavors we put in the pan i took it out so it's easier to see how we shred but check this thing out it just goes right back in our foil pan just like that and now we'll just mix it all together with all these delicious flavors pork is shredded let's assemble our sandwich i've got this nice brioche bun we're just gonna go right on top with a nice pile of our pulled pork how juicy this is this looks so good get the little barky pieces fatty pieces it's perfect now i'm gonna add the barbecue sauce kind of just on top like a nice little drizzle and we'll go with a couple pickled red onions give it a little tanginess little crunch sandwich is ready sandwich is put together let's uh try this thing out because it looks amazing amazing this is so easy to make you get those pickled red onions give it the tanginess that sweet barbecue sauce the soft bun the pork is delicious it just kind of melts in your mouth super juicy 
This is why I always say to start with pulled pork if you're new to barbecue. The pork shoulder is super easy to make. Even if you were to overcook it or dry it out somewhere, you can always add a little bit more barbecue sauce to kind of cheat around a little bit and it will still be super flavorful and easy to serve. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Be sure to turn on the bell notifications. We're going to be doing another grill giveaway soon. And uh, yeah, I'll just hang out here, eat my sandwich and uh, enjoy the rest of my day.